Hi, I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how to build a vacuum trimmer for your pet using a pop bottle or some scrap sheet metal. These are really good for trimming long-haired dogs, and it's a lot cheaper to do it yourself than to buy a Floby or Robocut for over a hundred bucks. The goal is to get suction behind the blades here, and the best way to do that is to reroute the crevice tool of the vacuum to there. If you have the ability to cut and bend sheet metal, this is the best solution. Make a little uh, bended track like that with a lid like this so that your crevice tool shoves in. And that'll route air directly to the crevice tool. And then you can just tape this whole thing together. This is what it should look like when you're done. Get the suction as close to the blade as you can. And if you're careful, you should be able to avoid the switch while you're taping. But if you can't cut and bend sheet metal, the bottle works pretty well. First of all, we want to prepare the orange crush bottle by cutting off the top about an inch down. Do that by poking in with a knife and then take a scissors and cut around the top. And then we need to do the same thing on, on the bottom. Cut off the bottom of the bottle. And then finally, take the scissors and cut right down the side of the bottle like this. First tape the crevice tool to the trimmer. Like so, so it doesn't fall off. Oh, make sure the trimmer's on because you won't be able to reach the switch. When we're done, you'll just have to turn it on by plugging it in. Then, you said put this thing over the outside. And you want to get it you know, sort of right up to where the air will be sucked through the crevice tool and through there, which that looks pretty good there. And then take your tape again and tape it, tape this whole thing on. And then also when you're taping, tape all the way down around the, the crevice tool on the cord a little bit so it doesn't slip out later. I just leave my shaver in this configuration forever. I just store it this way, but then I lose the crevice tool because it's taped in there. Fortunately, I have a second crevice tool, so it's not a problem. If you don't, if you go to the plumbing aisle at the hardware store, this thing is called a P-trap, and this pipe here is exactly the right size to fit in the vacuum. So you could use that, cut that off, and put that in in, in place of the uh, crevice tool. This is Cody before his haircut. Sometimes it helps to have a cat supervise the operation. Now we're ready to cut. Plug in the trimmer. And then hook up the vacuum hose to the crevice tool. And then turn on the vacuum and you're ready to cut. And here's Cody after his cut. Thank you for watching and good luck trimming your dog.